All right, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna go shopping. We're gonna go shopping at Amazon. Uh, we're gonna look for some memory. We've been looking at memory, talking about memory, and I decided to go see what memory cost. Yeah, in our earlier video, I don't think it's posted quite just yet. I went through some of my now uh, defunct, disabled, GPU mining rigs sitting up in the room, uh, motherboards just sitting there with uh, not powerful CPUs. Two had the AMD 5 Ryzen's on them. They give about three kilohash mining. Uh, mining on NiceHash on the Monero X algorithm. So not much, but it's something, right? They're just sitting up there gathering dust. But what I did do, I did... Uh, Scavenged no uh, scavenged those motherboards and did take off the memory and put them in my current rigs, which have the more beefier Ryzen 9 3900X and up CPUs. So those motherboards now are sitting upstairs with no memory, no purpose, no future. So what to do? All right. So I said, all right, let's go down. Maybe I can repurpose those, uh, repurpose those motherboards with those Ryzen uh, CPUs on them. And one had the nice little M2 STD slot on it. I think it's M2, M2 or M4. You know what I mean? It's the chip. It's the uh, little card you plug in next to the PCIe slot. And it puts your hard drive on. It's beautiful. I love those things. Anyway, so here we are. This is... Amazon, as we all know, not probably the best place to buy stuff. The one good thing about Amazon is it returns are pretty much easy. I did return GPUs a couple years ago, and it took maybe three weeks to get the money back because they don't want to be scammed. I get it. Those are, those are very expensive items, and there's a lot of scammers out there. You cannot swing a cat without hitting a scammer these days from, uh, what do we got? uh crypto not crypto uh my gosh i totally forgot uh intrusion detection uh what do you call it people hacking in vulnerabilities people hacking into your uh computers and people hacking everywhere uh, it's just everything is out of control uh banks are being hacked the actual um quick tangent the uh place the bank it's called equiland and this this is in now we're about January 26, but a couple of days ago, Equilend was hacked, and uh, they are the place that gives the loans to investors that want to do shorting of stocks. So when you short, this is, this is my understanding. I'm an idiot. When you short a stock, you take a loan out. Equilend is a huge lender in this space, and they were hacked and down, so people cannot put their orders in. So you got to watch out vulnerabilities. Use a VPN. Uh, only go to links you know that are valid links. Don't click on any links and emails, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, lots of scams out there. So right, let's get back to it. <laughs> I should segment that into the news and the concerns of the day. It's just not safe out there anymore, man. With uh, People are just, it's easier to scam and rip people off than to go work for a living, right? So here we are. Let's get back into it. We have the old memory of choice. This is what I am running. This is what I have purchased in the past. Last purchase was a little over two years ago. I got two sticks of this memory. Uh, I think it's the same price, whether black or red. I don't know. Red's fancy schmancy. Who cares? Are you trying to impress? Nobody. I think it costs a couple bucks more. I have no idea. Uh, we can check, though. Uh, it doesn't show right here. That's the black version. But this is the G.Skill Flare X series. DDR4 RAM, 16 gig, which is eight gigabytes per stick. So two times eight gigabytes is a total of 16 gigabytes for, you know, public school math people. And we got, uh, let's see, 3,200. And it's the CL14 is what you want. CL14 is key, is what I remember for uh, purchasing memory for doing mining. And it's, uh, let's see, black, F4, here you go, 3200, C14, boom, 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 16 gigabytes. So this will go in two channels. 
on your motherboard. So that is a good thing. I was running one with a couple of my motherboards and just one stick of these because again, I had everything spread out for GPU mining. And uh, once I put in two sticks of 3200 DDR4, boom, the hash rate jumped immensely on a nice hash mining Monero. And there's old videos on that crap. So it does work. Memory is key when you're doing CPU mining. So this is what I used in the past. Let's look at the pictures together. There you go. Let's see what else I got here. What other picture? Oh, wow. Different angles. Look at that. Sexy. You get two sticks. The red's kind of cool, but let's see. I don't know if I can click on it. I'm sure there's a red if you want it. If you have a, I don't know, who gives a crap? Just give me the cheapest one. That works. Let's see. We got memory speed 3200, DDR4, 16 gigabyte G skill, and it is 7299. Yeah, interesting. I'm going to go back in time to the Wayback Machine, and I'm going to check and see what I paid for it a couple years ago. I thought memory would have dropped quite a bit by now uh, after a few years. So I got to go in here, click on that. Just stand by one second. I'm going to look for DDR4 search. <clears throat> Just got dog food delivered today. I get dog food delivered from Amazon because my local doggy store usually doesn't have what I need. So that's what I do there. All right, let's see what I paid on this thing again. Oh, crap. Oh, here we are. Order details. Stand by. Oh, my God. What did I spend on this? Come on, man. Oh, it's every. I got a lot of stuff. That is an M2. All right, I should show you this. I'm going to bring this up too. Open link, a new window, a new tab. I'm going to show you that too. We're going to have a fun little video, right? Shopping is fun. I even bought Blu-rays Blu in that order <laughs> for my Blu-rays. Oh my God. Blue light blockers, blocking reading glasses. Yeah, because it definitely blocks uh, the gamma ray radiation from the computer screens. I have not had stress headaches or anything eye strain since I started to wear these things. They do work. Blue light blocking reading glasses, man. Or just blue light, if you don't need reading glasses, but just blue light blocking glasses are key. I'll bring that one up too. I'm going to bring that up. Hold on a sec. Boom, I'm getting organized here. Organized. All right, I want to see, what did I, where's the invoice at here? There's the invoice. Oh, I spent a lot of money. All right, let's go down. I'm going to click on that. Hold on a sec. I cannot show you this stuff. All right, I spent, wow. All right. All right, let's go over here. For this memory, two years ago, it did drop. I spent $109.99 on uh, January 2022, $109.99. So memory does drop. So that's a good thing. So maybe there's better memory to get now. I don't know. I'm just going to go with what I know. Uh, I think that's a perfect speed for me. Maybe 3400 you can go up to. About a 3200 would work just fine. So memory is going down. So, I mean, you can look for older stuff like this. Get a nice, sweet deal. But uh, how much juice is that going to get you for me to recoup? 73 bucks. Ooh, that's going to have to run a long time. I do look at ROI because why, you know, it's a hobby and all, but I don't want to throw money away if I don't have to. But uh, 73 bucks for one. I'm going to run an old crappy Ryzen, not I shouldn't say crappy, AMD Ryzen 5. And that's going to make, whew, it's going to take, let's say it makes a buck a day. That's a good day, though. A buck a day is a good day. Oh, my God. Let's just say a buck a day. So 73 days. Now double that, 140 days, because it doesn't make a buck a day. It makes about 50 cents a day. And then after electricity, ah, it's just not worth it. If I had a Ryzen 9 3900X, I might do it. But I just can't, I can't justify this, the cost at this point. It's just, I, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole again. I went, when, when I, um, when I went, when I went crazy buying GPUs and all that crap over two, two and a half years ago, you get really into that FOMO stuff. It really got to me, the fear of missing out and the scarcity of buying the equipment really drove, drove the prices up and the necessity to get it. It was just, it was just, uh, not the smartest purchases sometimes. All right, enough of that crap. So here's the memory I do use, if you're curious. All right, let's go look at, let's see here. I'm going to look at this real quick. Let me grab this. If I can do this here. Hold on a sec. 
Let me grab the part number. Can I grab the part number? Hold on. Amazon, there is a part number in the link. And all you gotta do is cut and paste it. Let's do it. Boom. Let's see if this works. Boom, there it is. All right. These are gold, guys. <clears throat> these are gold. These are the things I've been talking about. And uh, these are the internal SSD M2 form factor uh, SDD drives, man. These are great because you don't have an SDD cable, SATA cable, hanging off the motherboard, plugging into an external drive, whether it's SDD or not. And you don't have a power cable running from your power supply to the external drive. This plugs right into a slot, an M2 slot on your motherboard. I highly recommend these things. And you just get a little adapter with it. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think they give you the adapter here. Oh my God, I can't, that's a horrible picture. Can I, does it, oh, that's a terrible picture. They zoomed in too close. But these are great, you can uh, flat, oh, you get 240 gigabytes. Look how cheap these things are, 29 bucks. Well, let's see, how much is this? Probably double, 50? Oh my God, wait a minute. You can jump up to 240 gigabytes for 40 bucks. Holy crap, that's awesome. I love it. Let's see if they have the adapter down here. Oh my God, let's see. No, they don't. Wait, here we go. You have to buy the little adapter. So what I do is I get these guys. Here, let's show you. Let's, boom, I need to make a video on this crap. Is there's a, another adapter that plugs into and then that will plug into your laptop USB port. And then you can actually flash these things with your Windows or Linux or whatever knocks your, knocks your socks off. And then you plug this thing into your motherboard, boots up, have your BIOS boot from this thing. It'll recognize Kingston, uh, uh, SD, SSD drive, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then you boot up from that and then you're good. You're golden. It should recognize it. Your BIOS should default to it as one of the pecking order of boot drives. As long as you don't have multiple disk drives hanging off your motherboard. Yeah, these are good, man. Get one of these. So price is cheap. If you're building machines too, Go with these things. You have a clean looking system. It'll look professional. The less cables, the better. It just looks clean. So there you go on that one. Another, another pro tip. And what I'm going to do, I'll put links in the, uh, where do I put the links on these videos? Somewhere. I put them below in the description. I'll put links to these products in the description below, just so you don't have to go look for them. Because that's usually the hardest part with any of this stuff is trying to find out what part this guy was talking about what which was it again and there i'll just give you the link you go right to it you buy it put it right in your cart and you get it in two days all right let's go to the other what did what else was i was i rambling about oh these things <laughs> guys these are gold if you're a software guy or you just love staring at computers all day which is i don't recommend it i highly don't recommend i, I recommend getting outside and getting sunshine and stepping on grass or snow. I don't have snow anymore. Thank you, God. So let's go do this one. <clears throat> oh my God, they're not there anymore. Come on, no wait, I did the wrong part. Wait, 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 what happened? What happened, B? That's not the right part. I don't know, what is that? That's a binocular. What's her name? On the job safety begins here. Wow, that's a lot of days without them. <laughs> okay, I don't want that. Oh my God, why did that not come up right? All right, stand by. I'm going to do this. Copy. Paste this. See if this works. Oh, look at that. I don't know why the part number didn't, didn't match. Are these in stock? These are readers, man. If you need reading, you're gonna need them, guys. You get, you get close to 40, boom, your eyes are gonna start going and you get eye strain. So you can get these with zero, which if you don't need corrective reading, you know, if, you, if your eyes are fine, these things are perfect. If you're at work or anything at a computer, get these. Ever since I've been wearing these for what? My God, I had these for a couple of years now. No headaches, no eye strain. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. They do work. So I highly, I highly recommend these guys as well. Wow, $13.99. Uh, ooh, China. China. 
And uh, let's see. Oh, you can go up to two, five ones. If you need some uh, readers, if you uh, just to read close up or whatever, or the reader whole point of reading, whatever the readers for uh, as your eyes start failing as you get older. But you can get zeros if you don't have that problem and get those. That pretty good. I recommend these things hundred percent. All right. Let's see what they do. And you can look like him. You can look like him. You have to grow a little facial hair, but. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see what else we got going on today. Uh, we went over the memory. I like to get some, but I'm not going to dish out this 80, 73 bucks. But it's amazing that it dropped that much money in a couple of years. So it just shows you tech keeps evolving. Hardware prices keep coming down. As long as supply demands there. I mean, um, supply chain exists. They're going to have uh, decent prices. Uh, let's see. Like, uh, what was that one? Like I said, when the GPUs were in high demand and they were scarce, scalpers rained the day, man. They just uh, were jacking prices up through the roof. Now, uh, let's see. What else we got going on? Not much, man. Just the old Bitcoins holding at 40K. Yeah, 40K. I don't know. The old ETFs turned it out on us. I think I got mine at 42 or 40. Wait. Come on. I don't know what I got mine at. I got it right at the peak. I'm an idiot. I should have waited, but it went all the way down because, again, like I said, I said is um, the old saying is old saying is true. You buy the rumor and you sell the news. Once they put that ETF out, I should have dumped some Bitcoin, made some profits. Should not have bought into the uh, ETF. Didn't put much money in. It was just to play with it to see how it would do. Uh, but then it just all tanked down to four thousand from a uh, forty thousand from high. I think it peaked at forty eight thousand. Remember when the uh, SEC put out that wink wink fake tweet about approving the um, ETFs a day before. That was all just to tr drive the price, manipulate it for their buddies. It's, it's so obvious. What are we going to do about it? We're just sheep. Yeah, we just got to sit back and watch and go, all right, let the dog finish humping my leg. You know, you can't do a damn thing about it. But that's what they were doing. It's, it's just so, uh, it's just so uh, apparent. But, oh, well. Yeah, so everything's down. From the ETF days and time zipping by, man, it's almost two weeks coming up that they release that turd. But uh, we'll see if it comes back. There's a lot of interest in it. These guys have to perform. Uh, Vanguard, BlackRock, all these guys, they really need to perform for the people that put their money in it. Oh, they're going to look like idiots. So you never know. Uh, let's see what's the market doing. Everything's up today. I don't know how long this can keep going up. Look at this. This is crazy. It's got to it's gotta come right back down to here. It's just everyone's laying off. Uh, let's see who lay off now. Wayfair laid off quite a few people just this month. eBay is cutting a lot of people. Uh, there was a couple other ones too. I think Ford has to cut people because EVs are tanking. And again, I own Tesla. I took it off my watch list, man. Tesla has so upset me. Um, it, it was a poop show on the earnings call with Musk and that. It's like, what? This, I, I like the guy a lot, but he's just horrible at speaking and putting the thoughts out on the business and it just makes me nervous because I'm down a lot on that turd. My God, that was stupid. From now on, what if I'm just not going to watch it? Hopefully, one day it'll come back. Uh, I'm not going to sell it for a and realize the loss. That's just stupid. Uh, I'm just getting into index funds from now on. Stick with index funds. <laughs> Dist distribute the uh, risk factor right. Buying these individual stocks on hopes they'll go to the moon is stupid. But crypto's fun. <laughs> crypto's an interesting case. All right, guys, let's see what else we got going on. How long are we into this thing? All right. So there's that. There's some stuff to go check out. Uh, let's see. We got the old speckies. I don't know about that sign. Unless you want a safety sign at home. This is gold. Number one advice pick is uh, check out these things. What is that? Void if what? There's a warranty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a void if you remove the sticker. How stupid. All right, I guess people remove stickers and lick them or something like that. They lick, the, they lick these things. I don't know. Why would you do that? I'm just joking. All right. Let's go back. Oh, there they are. Wait. Ooh. I'm looking for that adapter. I'm going to make a video where I actually take one of these sticks and I flash it from a laptop. I'll probably have to film it from my iPhone. Oh, only one in stock. People are still buying this stuff. Look at that. People love it. They love it. 212,146. All right. All links will be in the description below. All right. That's it.